Like the video in the next five seconds or your jump shot's gonna go broken. You'll never green again. I would not risk it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Summy Man, back with another video. Today, I'm finna show you guys the most underrated build in NBA 2K20, man. The most underrated lockdown build, a two-way pass for his point. Now, why is this build underrated? I mean, just look at the stats. At 99, it's gonna have an 81 driving dunk, 80 three-point shot, 78 ball handle, 93 still. So you're gonna have a 93 still with an 83 point, 89 lateral quickness, 88 perimeter, and then 85 defensive rebounding. And normally, when people make this build, they make the two-way three-level version, but this build is actually way better because when you match your waistband, you get better defense. You don't really need the ball handle in with this build, but you have gold quick first step and when you have gold quick first step it's basically like your speed boost so you don't need that crazy ball control the only thing i would change in making this build is choosing slasher takeover because at 99 you get that 81 driving dunk and then slasher takeover adds plus 10 to that so you'll actually be able to get contact done but i chose lock takeover because that's what i prefer you know what i'm saying and with this build you can not only spot up you can actually use this build as a guard and shoot three you're gonna see in the gameplay i was actually using this build as a guard you don't even have to spot up so without legend you'll have seven finishing 17 shooting 10 playmaking and 20 defense with legend this is how it will look and if you guys want to make my exact two-way pass for a point build look in the description i'll show you how to make it and with that being said make sure you guys like the video sub if you're new and let's get right into the video i know that you fall in love with me and it's hard dog be fighting my love and protecting your heart like a guard dog But you know that it's okay I got your heart, I won't break I got some more money, I went to the bank You trying right away, we can't swim, so you say You say you got chocolate it's about time i show you guys another build man since i'm legend you know what i'm saying i actually made a video on this build like a week ago i believe so if you guys want to know how to make my exact build i'll have the link in the description but the reason why i put this gameplay right here first is because not only do i want to see i want you to see the offense but i want you guys to see the defense this guy right here was trying to iso me and you guys gonna see i was boxing that man i'm telling you guys that's why i went max wingspan 6'4 because one i got the speed max wingspan i have the athletic the defense everything this build can do anything you possibly want to build to do defense shoot dunk except for dribbling man that's the only thing i would say that's a bad downside of this build so yeah this dude's trying to iso as you can see we end up clamping that and look at the passing lane. I'm telling you guys, this is very. If you make a defensive build, I strongly advise you guys to go max wingspan. You see me green in the shot for situations like that. You want passing lane steals. You want good defensive play. You see me green in the shot. If you want to know why my takeover went up so much, it's because my center had flashy passer on. And if you don't know, flashy passer makes your takeover go up by a bunch when you score off of it. So they end up getting a lucky inbound still. And like I said, this guy cannot iso me. I'm telling you, when you have max wingspan on any defensive build, they will not. ISO you the, the defense is there and he ended up making a BS shot 2k how does that go in and now we're back on offense and I'm telling you guys you don't really need to dribble or momentum to get open literally go quick first step behind the screen and if you want to you can literally ISO with this build if you wanted to I'm just not ISO because I'm only a 92 I don't have the speed yet and my build isn't done but look at that Look at the defense. The max wingspan on a 6-4 is glitchy. I got the speed. I'm everywhere. He can't score on me. Look at that. That's a bad take in general. So we get the stop. He leaves me open. I missed the shot. That's tough. My center ended up getting the board. He hits me back. Now, off rip, you get like a 76 three-pointer. And that's that's all you need to be honest. You'll be green the shot. That's all you need to shoot consistently. Like I said, if you guys don't know, I uploaded a video a couple days ago showing you guys how to shoot with a low three-pointer. And the 76 isn't even low. It's a high three-point shot. So you're going to see me going off from the three with this build. But in my previous video, you see that I was greening with a 49 and 52 three-pointer. I kind of mastered this game, man. I know how to shoot in this game with any build. You give me a build, it can have a 30 three-pointer. I promise y'all. You can with a few shooting badges, I will green up. So why is this build underrated? A lot of people don't even make the two-way pass for its point they end up making a two-way three level facilitator or you know the any or the two-way sharp or any other build that's in this sharp defense pie chart and also this build is kind of click bait because when you see the name two-way pass first you think of you think it's the playmaking defensive which is what it and it's not it's a sharp defensive all right and the reason why i like that it's clickbait like that is because people will pull up and not guard me at the three they just think oh he can't shoot 
he did he's gonna rim run and i'm pulling from half and they're just confused so honestly this build is super underrated i strongly advise you guys to try out this build for yourself you see him green in his face if you want a really balanced build that's not really bad in any area i suggest you go with this build i mean honestly like it has a 93 still with an 83 pointer like if this ain't the most versatile build then i don't know what to tell you and he gets an 81 driver dunk but slap slasher take over on that you're going to be able to shoot from half court get contact dunks and play outstanding defense now obviously the only downside is not being able to momentum and do all the dribble moves you still get pro dribble moves though also i believe you can even choose playmaking takeover with this build so if you like the takeover choices on this build is endless if you want to be a lockdown like me you could go lock takeover if you want to get contact dunks you could go slasher if you want to just be a sharpshooter go with sharp takeover if you want to you know catch ankles dot people go with play takeover the opportunities with this build is endless there's nothing this build can't do there's something this build is bad and it's a super underrated build and i dropped a video on this build a week ago i had people in the comments telling me you shouldn't make this build you should go two way three level and or you should go two way inside out you should go this and that this is why i said this build is underrated because this build is better than what you guys think and you guys won't know until y'all try out the build or ask somebody with the build they'll tell you like yeah this build is legit you see me dunking right over him look at that i don't even have slasher takeover and i'm able to dunk over people easily with the seven finish about this comes in handy i'm telling you guys this build don't worry as soon as you badge off the build this build is going to be nice man i'm telling you if you guys want to make my build again the build link is in the description my center snags at two for a dollar that's a green light only bad thing i can say about this build is his ability that it can dribble that's the only thing but if you a guy like me who who can just look like i said with quick first step that's all you need to get open i missed that shot that's on me i green the second shot that's all you need to get open is quick first step and if you're a legend like me any build works to be honest any build there's nothing this build can't do literally i don't see one bad thing about this build let me know in the comment section if you think this build is good or bad is it overrated is it underrated let me know i honestly think this is a super good build and a super underrated look at that quick shot he sags off what are you even doing to leave me open with this kind of build and once this build get 99 and badged out i'll show you guys i'll drop another video on this i'm currently grinding him the 99 if you guys want to see any of my other builds at 99 let me know most of my builds are 99 except for this and my pair lock so if you guys want to see any of my other builds at 99 or if you want me to make any other kind of builds let me know in the comment section below if you made it this far all i need you to do is comment which which build i should make all right that lets me know who really supports who really walks with me who really you know who watches me man so and if you see me throwing lobs in this video i'm trying to help my teammate get rep while grinding playmaking badges on this build so i declare that out because you guys might be saying why are you throwing lobs you're a legend i declare that up real quick but yeah with this build no one's gonna be able to ice you you know those two-way slash and playmakers with max wingspan they're not gonna be able to score on you because you're gonna be able to get chase on blocks you're gonna be able to get you have a 93 still at 99 you're gonna be, be able to pluck people could go i believe so if you guys want to know how to make my exact build i'll have the link in the description but the reason why i put this gameplay right here first is because not only do i want to see i want you to see the offense but i want you guys to see the defense this guy right here was trying to ice on me and you guys gonna see i was boxing that man i'm telling you guys that's why i went max wingspan 6'4 because one i got the speed max wingspan i have the athleticity the defense everything this build can do anything you possibly want to build to do defense shoot dunk except for dribbling man that's the only thing i would say that's a bad downside of this build so yeah this dude's trying to iso as you can see we end up clamping that and look at the pass lane i'm telling you guys this is very if you make a defensive build i strongly advise you guys to go max wingspan you see me green in the shot for situations like that you want pass lane steals you want good defensive play you see me green in the shot if you want to know why my takeover went up so much it's because my center had flashy passer on and if you don't know flashy passer makes your takeover go up by a bunch when you score off of it so they end up getting a lucky inbound still and like i said this guy cannot iso me i'm telling you when you have max wingspan on any defensive build they will not iso you the, the defense is there and he ended up making a bs shot 2k how does that go in and now we're back on offense and i'm telling you guys you don't really need to dribble or momentum 
to get open. Literally go quick first step behind the screen. And if you want to, you can literally ISO with this build if you wanted to. I'm just not ISOing because I'm only a 92. I don't have the speed yet. And my build isn't done, but look at that. Look at the defense. The max wingspan on a 6-4 is glitchy. I got the speed. I'm everywhere. He can't score on me. Look at that. That's a bad take in general. So we get the stop. He leaves me open. I missed the shot. That's tough. My center ended up getting the board. He hits me back. Now, off rip, you get like a 76 three-pointer. And that's that's all you need to be honest. You'll be getting the shot. That's all you need to shoot consistently. Like I said, if you guys don't know, I uploaded a video a couple days ago showing you guys how to shoot with a low three-pointer. And the 76 isn't even low. It's a high three-point shot. So you're going to see me going off from the three with this build. But in my previous videos, you see that I was greening with a 40.